Emir Dashwal, time to die, buddy. And for whatever reason, the other Araby Lord that's nearby won't join the battle. I'm not sure why. I guess he's scared. Whoa, that lightning spell, though. These spells are actually crazy. Nice we won, and it was pretty easy. Just caught Sultan Jafar. And he does have more troops, but I think we can take him out still. Yeah, we're winning pretty hard. Batani and cavalry seem really strong. Alright, I just got Arkin the black. 180 against 152, so should be kind of close. Nice, just got level 28. Oof, oh man, I hate that when they just spawn on top of you. This is the worst event, guys. Your party is hit by a tornado and the ferocity of the storm threatens to carry many of your things from your grasp. Ugh, I lost my horse, helmet, and gauntlets. Very nice. That is such a bad event. It's unreal. I was just attacked by this guy and I told him that I didn't want to fight. So he's offering to let me go if I pay him 9k. And uh, I will take that offer. And apparently he lost some respect for me after that. Alright, I found my next target. Bardek Krom. Yeah, these trolls are pretty brutal. They're destroying us. Uh, where's... We're rushing them though. Can we do it? I don't think we can do it. Yeah, I gotta back out. Yeah, 18 versus 6. I want to do it, but it's way too risky. Oh, I don't have a choice. It's bow time. These guys are hella tanky. For some reason, I cannot headshot them. Bruh, they're not dying. They're really not dying. Fuck. Can we please win? Okay, nice. They're so OP. What is this, man? Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck. Okay, that hit. Okay, nice. Alright, it's one versus two. The sad part is, if I had more arrows in my baggage, I could retrieve them. You can go to the in-battle baggage and get more arrows out of your inventory, but uh, I do not have arrows in my inventory. Alright, I'm gonna try to cheese. Maybe if I get one of them stuck on this tree, they'll be spread apart. Uh, not really. Yes. Okay, wow, that was a close one. I will definitely make sure to get more arrows in my inventory. Wolfric the Wanderer. Whoa, oh man, not again. Oh, my ward just worked. Uh, it says a magical shield protected you from damage. So uh, it's nice to see the ward save coming in clutch. I always die to these overpowered uh, big characters. All right, nice, we won. I'm making use of the Japanese samurai characters. They're pretty strong. Usually I prefer infantry with shields, but these guys are pretty good regardless. Okay, we're at war with the Skaven. I haven't really fought them, so I'm going to try to fight them some. The winds are picking up and I lose some gold from my pockets, lose 10k. Um, you know what? I'm fine with that. Uh, I just really do not want to get the random event where I lose some of my armor again. I hate that. Alright, I just got a Skaven Lord. Let's take him out.
Wow, the throwing weapons. Alright, we won. Oh man, I'm poisoned. I hate being poisoned. Poison eventually leaves. You wait a few days, but it's just annoying. Damn, these rifles are really strong. Wow, I got blasted. Alright, it's time to fight against the Dark Elves. Bruh. That spell, man. Wow. Damn, every attack, it's dodged. It's like not even worth going for these guys, honestly. Yeah, I don't think it's worth going for these guys. They dodge every attack. But then again, if I kill them, I'll probably get a lot of XP. Wow, these guys have really strong cavalry. Nice, level 29. These Dark Elf Cavalry are really strong. Wow, faction eliminated. Beastman is no more. So wow, that's actually pretty crazy that they got knocked out. Rip to them. There still will be some Beastman Lords that will join other factions, but damn. While we're at it, I didn't get this on camera, but the Vampire Counts of Sylvania were defeated as well. And the Wood Elven Kingdom is barely hanging on. They have no vassals and no lands. You come across a crystal clear pond which is blessed by the winds of magic, blowing mana of multiple colors shimmer and jump across the surface, and through the reeds on the bank side. You bring your party to a halt and walk slowly into the pond until all that can be seen is a few bubbles and ripples above your head. The mana flows through your body, gain one point in the magic skill. So as far as the new skills go, apparently this skill helps you get your health back faster and helps you get over being poisoned faster. I don't think this is worth it though. And then mana control is just about how much mana you have. Magic power is how much damage your spells do. And magic control dictates what spells you can cast and if they're going to be successful or not. Just a warning, whenever I play a mod and there's magic, I usually don't go for it. I usually prefer to be a melee close-up fighter character. And I usually do choose bows over guns. Okay, nice. I found my favorite helmet again. Very nice. Valkia the Bloody. I want to take out Valkia this fight. Ugh. Damn, she's tough.
Nice, I did it. That was tough. Just found some lordly hourglass gauntlets, so that will be a big upgrade over these thick high elven gauntlets. So, uh, pretty nice. Right now I have 120 honor, and I think I'm going to try to found my kingdom once I get 150 honor. If I feel strong enough once I hit 150 honor, I will. And right now my party size is at 240, so the renown that I've been earning and my leadership skill has been pretty helpful. Okay, so I actually just found out that since I have one magic control now, I can go into towns and visit the wizard tower or wizard guild and there are many schools that i can uh, learn from and for example celestial lore of the heavens each school has a lore attribute so this one is weather related random events will not lead to negative outcomes and that sounds really good like i think i want to do this one and then there's lore and what kind of spells i can learn I'm going to choose this school, and apparently once you choose one, you can't change it, uh, but I welcome it myself. Okay, so apparently I can increase my magic resistance by paying? That's kind of cool. Six plus magic resistance, apparently, and then let's see if I can get any spells. This kind of looks funny. It kind of reminds me of RuneScape a little bit. So with level one magic, I apparently can use Euronons, Thunderbolt, and Windblast, so I will try those out. This guy looks pretty cool. I'm going to try to use magic this fight. I'm putting on some ropes because I'm pretty sure that you generate mana faster with less encumbrance. Okay, so this spell costs 8 mana, so let's try it. 8 damage. That guy's pretty armored though, so I'll try it on someone else. My magic power is low, so I probably won't be doing a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm done with magic. Uh, my character's not built to be a mage, but uh... It does seem like it could be fun. Ambush. Out of nowhere, a horde of forest goblins descend upon your party. You must take up arms with haste. Alright, that's pretty easy. Oh, I just hit level 30. Nice. Alright. Nine leadership. I'm getting knocked out a lot, actually. Uh, so, I actually am going to go for the legendary armor. Alright, guys. I just found Marcus the Wise. And the only appealing weapons I can see would be the Dragon Bow. And I still don't know what the X1 D6 damage means. I'm guessing it's something good or I would have no reason to buy this bow. And the Rune Fang looks pretty good. Um, it does seem a bit overpowered though, I'm not going to lie. Like 60 damage, like will that make the game too easy? I, I don't know. I'll, I'll try it out, but I might end up sticking with the axe. Other than that, none of these weapons seem that good. Actually, this weapon seems pretty good. If you're wielding it, you gain the maximum dodge chance if you're on foot, so it seems like it might be pretty good in sieges, so I will buy this one as well. So I just lost 190k, but I don't think I'll ever have to find Marcus again. Now I just need to find his brother, and I'll be done. Wow guys, I'm so fucking lucky. I don't know what's going on. Literally, this is the second tavern I just visited after finding the, uh, the other guy. Uh, hmm, I hope I have enough. First, I want to buy ward save, so I'll buy the second ward save. And then... A third ward save. Okay, I have all the ward saves. That's great. But I only have 40k now, so actually that kind of sucks. Wow. So basically, I have to find this guy again. I mean, I guess I'm fine with that. It's just that I wish I had the money right now. Oh, uh, let's look at these. So we got the beastman armor. Can't wear it. Breastplate of Gleaming. Looks kind of cool, but I don't really like it. Goblin armor. Seems to be tomb armor. And this one as well. Then we have this mask, which I would never wear. The samurai helmet, which I will buy right now since it's only 4k. This looks kind of cool. And the two pieces that I really want are the armor of meteoric iron. And the armor of the golden sunrise. So uh, I'm going to need to come back when I get around 200k. Faction eliminated. The kingdom of Sigmar is no more. Rest in peace to them. Alright, I should have done this sooner since I needed to save up money anyway, but... I'm going to ask to be released from my oath. Um, this way I will not be attacked while I'm going from tavern to tavern trying to find Cyrus the Wise. 
And it's unfortunate that I didn't have enough money last time because it is taking a long time to find him now. I found Cyrus and uh, I think I was searching for like a good 30 or 40 minutes. Um, but I count this as extremely lucky because it could have been like an hour or two, I think. So this is going to be my first look. And this is my second look, the, uh, the samurai look. Pretty good. And I'm not sure why I wasn't able to get this on recording, but I actually did meet the third magical good vendor. So there's Marcus, Cyrus, and then Darius. And for Darius, you do not need 10 tournament medals. And I bought this shield off of him, and I think this might be the best shield in the game. It's extremely good. And then I also bought these arrows, and you get plus one power draw while they're equipped, so it's really good. And yeah, guys, I got huge upgrades this episode. My character is way stronger now.